All right, 10 after 8, Corey Keeley's here. How are you? I'm really good. You brought avocados. I brought avocados from Mexico. Oh, yeah. I wish I was in Mexico, so yeah, I'm not. I, know. So I just bring the avocados with me. And whenever I, we go to Mexico all the time, as do you, you know, in, in the winters, and uh, uh, the best, one of the best things about it is the fresh avocados and the fresh guacamole. It's unbelievable. I know. I just basically hoard it when I'm there. I have it at every meal. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna. We're, well, first of all, how do you know when an avocado is ready for use? Okay, so here's the deal. What you want to do is buy avocados at different uh, stages of ripening so that you can have them accessible all the time. Right. The unripened ones are green. Mm -hmm. The very ones green. on their way, very green, the ones on their way are Browning. brown with some green spots. Gotcha. The ones that are ready to eat are this dark brown color. Yeah. Okay. The, the green becomes brown. Yes. And when you get them home, what you want to do with your unripened ones, leave them on the counter and they ripen on their own. Right. And they can, they're a fruit, and they continue to ripen off the tree. So we're really lucky that way. Uh, if they become ripe and dark, and you're not quite ready to eat them, you can pop them in the refrigerator for up to four days. So you're, right. still gonna, you're gonna stop the ripening process, and then you can just pull them out whenever you want. They're very good for you, the avocado. They're so good for you. They're, they have protein in them. They have fiber. They have 20 essential amino acids. Don't they have good fats in them? And monounsaturated fat. So the they're the kind. That's what I meant. People say like, well, they have some fat in them. Like, they, it is exactly what you want to eat. When you eat avocado, you feel happy. You feel full. You're not looking for things, so you don't eat a lot, and you have all the goodness of it. But how do I make good guacamole? Okay. So what you want to do is take a ripe avocado. Yes. One of these. Okay. You can cut them. There's a pit in the middle. Big pit. So you just kind of lengthwise cut them. Right. Like this. And this is the fun part. You just twist. And out they and come. perfect. And then you scoop. Oh, you don't no, even scoop. No, we don't even scoop. If they're ripe, they should come out like we that. We are squishing because this helps squishing. get it squishing. Way squishing. Way better than squishing. scooping. Yes, you can, but this is the bonus. And I left the pit in there. So Why? if you're making the avocado, it helps to keep it from browning. Ah. So the avocado will brown. The other thing that will stop it from browning is if you add a citrus. Like yeah, that's right, like lemon juice or, or something? lemon, yes. So I just put the pit right in there, and then when I'm right before you're going to serve it, I take it out. Okay, so okay, you... Okay, but we can take it out. Now. You fork it. Right? Yeah, it's you can mash it. It's mash very it low tech. You don't need fancy pants uh, equipment to make guacamole. You just need a fork um, and a bowl, and that's and it. And it's okay to have it a little bit chunky? Well, yeah. Right? You, you don't yeah. want it super smooth. No. Because then it looks like it came out of a factory. Yeah, no, no, it does. We don't want that. You can buy it like that around here. And you can just, this is your base guacamole. So we've got avocados, three avocados from yeah. Mexico. We've yeah. got our garlic. Oh, yeah. Jalapeno peppers. Jalapeno. Very, uh, we want to chop those up finely. Okay. And we've got some cilantro, fresh cilantro. Oh, my gosh. This is like, this smells like Mexico to me right now. Oh, it does. And then some finely diced If onion. we close our eyes, we can imagine Super we're on easy. a beach. I'm going to add a bit more lime juice. I love the lime juice. So this is your base. You I'm can on a beach. add. Okay, me too. All right, good. We're sunning ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Waiting for a nice guacamole <laughs> and, and a beverage. Okay. Okay. So this is your base. You can add to this. You could add, um, I make one with tomatillas added to it. You can add tomatoes, you know, dress it up. Some people add tomatoes. Very versatile. Yeah. You can also, like, here's the thing, baby food. You know, you can travel. This is not just baby food, but very portable. It's a creamy, smooth, very good for kids, great starter oh my God. food. I do this with like even for lunch. I'll travel with like half an avocado, right? And you can just mash it up and scoop with your crackers or a carrot stick or whatever. I like uh, just chopping it up a little bit. We do this at home uh, and uh, have uh, avocados in our salad. Exactly. Little, little chunks. If you have leftover avocado, which you probably won't, you, you know. can freeze it and put it in your smoothies. It adds a creamy texture. Um, I like to just put. I do the same thing. This is what I had for lunch yesterday: yeah. steamed spinach. Yeah. With pesto on top of it. A little bit of chicken. Quinoa, and then I topped it with avocado. Yeah. Such a satisfying meal. Beautiful. Yeah. And so healthy. So good. Uh, listen, what are, what are these over here? These are delicious avocado cigars. Avocado so this is cigars. crab meat with avocado. You wrap it in <laughs> phyllo pastry. All these recipes well, are on... Well, they sure are a little wrinkly, but anyway. Hey, uh, they're perfect. Listen, uh, there's a website, right? Yes. Miss right over there, Zach. Miss Avocado. Miss Avocado. Miss Avocado. She's a pretty little, lovely Mexican lady. Miss Ava. She knows everything about avocados from Mexico. Oh. And if you go there, you can go on Facebook. You can go on Twitter. You get the, you get the 101, and all the de all these recipes are there too. And I don't mind sharing my guacamole with you. <laughs>